Alright, what is up ladies and gents, JP here from Scooza Gaming, and I am back with another video with the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures emulator. So a couple of nights ago I put up a video about um, a couple of the new updates, but then I realized I never actually made a video to show you what the emulator is. So this is uh, like an introduction to anyone who doesn't know what Clone Wars Adventures is, um, and what this emulator basically does. So, alright, so like I was saying in the other video, 2008 Clone Wars began, and then 2010 when the show was really getting somewhere, they made a game called Star Wars Clone Wars Emulator. I'm oh, sorry, no, Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures, and this is the emulator, my bad. And it was an MMO, it was the second MMO after Star Wars Galaxies, and I think it came out around the same time as The Old Republic. Um, the Old Republic was definitely more popular than this, this was just, um, there was, it wasn't really story heavy, or, because every MMO has its own weaknesses and stuff. So Galaxies, its main uh, objective was to work with people, and use co-op and get shit done, but that's how it was, and um, this one, it was very different because the Old Republic was very story based because it came from the Knights of the Old Republic series. Knights of the Old Republic series focused heavily on um, story and how they would bring us another chapter of the whole Star Wars universe, how they would expand it. And that's what the Old Republic tried to do. You know, even though a lot of people disagree that it wasn't as good as the originals, it's story heavy. Most of the time you can solo heroics now, you can do solo flashpoints because. Um, Bioware wants you to enjoy the game. You don't. They don't want you to rely on everyone all the time. It wants. They want it to be a solo, uh, story-based game. It's very story-heavy, and they believe that the only way to enjoy the story is if you play by yourself. If you have thousands of people in a group with you, then yeah, and the story kind of dumbs out. Dumbs out. Anyway, um, Adventures is very different. This game was purely made for fun. The the main premises of the game was to just play mini games, uh, upgrade your stuff, collect uh, lightsabers clothing, armor, it's, it's cool, it was just fun, and I love this game, I actually really did, like I said in the other video. Um, so, alright, I'm going to make another character, I'm going to show you all the cool rooms, all the new stuff you could do, because in the other video was very rushed, I didn't have enough time to show you any of the cool stuff, so I'm going to make another character, um, I'm not going to give him any name, I'm just going to start it like this, can I start it like that? Can I? Yeah, I can, maybe, maybe not, just give us a, no, I can't, I've got to name him something, alright, so I'm going to give him, um, I'm going to name him Jay, wait, wait, where is it? What's happening? Okay, there we go. J. Okay, so this is the starting area, like I said in the last video, and you have four locations here. So on the right here, you've got the lightsaber. This is pretty much Coruscant, but it's uh, like the Jedi Council Chambers. On this side, uh, that's Coruscant, pretty much the Jedi Temple, the Senate, and all that. You've got the Battle of Umbara, the PvP area, then you've got Kamino, which is... I don't, I, don't, I don't remember Kamino from the original game. I remember Ryloth, I don't remember Kamino, but it's... um. It's uh, not a very fleshed out map. They're still being still being produced. It's um if you go there, it's just kind of uh just just Camino. It's just things everywhere. Anyway, so we will start off with the Jedi Council Chambers. I will show you around. There's not much to do in there. It's just just the Jedi Council Chambers. You can walk around. You can explore. You can do all this shit. There's a door out there. Take it back to the Council. Uh, sorry, the Coruscant. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. So I'll show you. You can change blasters now. Like I said, you can shoot. There's a whole range of blasters, flamethrowers. Um. I think this is a flamethrower, is it? Yeah. Um, what's this? Yeah, there's an automatic rifle, I think. Is this it? No, that's, um, it's just a weapon. Is this a weapon? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Well. There's glass tools. Um, there was a rocket launcher. I think this is it. No, wait. Tap it again. Maybe not. Maybe it's, uh, this one. Ooh, can't find it. Yep, this one. There we go, rocket launcher. Anyway, I'm gonna stick with the basic. I will take uh, the standard rifle. Yep. And you can also add companions or something like that. Like it's like a pet. You can add a droid if you've played Star Wars: The Old Republic. You know what companions are and stuff like that. You get like a uh, or a pet. You know, in the new May the Fourth update, you always get a pet, and you know you get a droid following. This is similar to that. Anyway, so this is the Jedi Council Chambers. Whatever. Not much to do here, so we'll just leave. All right. So, this is the uh, vendor area of Coruscant. Normally, there's a couple of vendors up front there. Um, there's rooms here. So, I'm not sure if this room is open. I think it's still being made. You can't go in there, can you? No. So, I think I'm pretty sure on the left here, that is the Jedi Archives. But I'll go in there just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, this is the Jedi Library or the Archives, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the same from episode 2 where Obi-Wan comes and he's looking for Kamino. Pretty cool. I don't mind it. It's nice. There's not much to do here. You just kind of walk around, explore, explore, you know. I'm, I think that's enough exploring. Let's get out of here. 
And I have found a way to actually travel back without having to restart the whole game. You just press T for travel and you just choose wherever you want to go rather than having to restart the game every time. Okay. Alright, so the other doors are here. So the ones on the left here and the right down there just take you into the main lobby, I guess. And this one is just back to the council chambers. So we're not going to go in there. We'll go into the main lobby area. And I'll show you a couple of rooms in there because there is a lot of cool stuff in here. Alright, so this is the main lobby area of the... This is Jedi Council. I don't know what this is. Jedi Temple. It's, it's, on a, it's not the Senate Plaza. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll... Okay, we're going on to the far left, to the right side of the room. And this is the room that is still being designed, clearly. Uh, there's nothing here. It's just a bunch of shades. Uh, there's my droid. Oh, shit. Stuff like that. Alright, we'll get out of here because there's really nothing, not much to do here. There is more cool game modes than just the um, Starfighter mode. There's also a uh, training mode, which I will show you once I get into the room. I think it's... Uh, that's not it. That's the camera. Oh, I am quite sure. Is it? This is a cantina. And, you know, it's just, just to bring back more memories of the original cantina. Back to Coruscant, which is okay. So they bring you back here, but I'm not going to go in here now. I'm going to leave, and I'll come back later. I'll show you how to get here to the rooms. Um, all right, we're back in the lobby, and we've seen these two rooms. I'll show you these two now. Alrighty, and those two doors on the left and the right here, to just to take you back to the vendor location. All right, here should be the ah yes, the training area. This is where there's a new game mode for the training mode. Training. If you play the original game, you'd remember something similar to this. Although this is a bit changed and it's not the same class training, but it's still good. And you can just. Blast enjoy the blaster. You can't do the blaster, it's not perfect, obviously. Maybe we'll get another one later. But it's still good. You can enjoy it, it's not for fun until you get bored and you need to leave. Well, kill the people. Droids. Okay, that's enough. And this is the training area, like I said. Oof, okay, oof. I don't want to zoom out because I'm playing on a laptop. If you are playing on a laptop, don't zoom out. It's kind of bad. It makes it. I like the training room. The training room was really cool. There's an elevator over here. Which one can go into it? Yep. Jump back to the top. Try not to miss it. It's kind of annoying. Oh, uh, look, he's good. Alright, we'll get out of here and go back to the original area. Uh, no, there's a door. Alright. Alright. Okay, we haven't seen this one, we've seen all those. Okay. Uh, okay, what is this? Let's see. Is this the... Yeah, the Starfighter area where you go back to travel. I hope they add Ryloth. Ryloth is a starting planet to the game. I'll do a Starfighter just for fun. Wow. Asteroid, can we shoot the asteroid? No, it can't, he's flying through the thing. Oh, look, alright. You can shoot missiles, you have an unlimited amount. You get shot or something, you just kind of keep drilling. Until what? Um, I don't know what I'm shooting at. Oh, look, see, I'm twirling, and he's just gonna keep shooting. In a really weird position. It's not the best Starfighter mode. I think there's a better option there, I just think it's, it's kind of cool. Okay, let's go. If you want to see more Starfighter, you can jump onto my previous video I uploaded recently, and you can, you know, see more of that. So you've seen pretty much all of Coruscant. We will return to the main lobby. And... So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination and we'll get underway immediately. Thank you, clone. We will return to the classic lobby. Alright. Oh, look, companions. I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, can I get rid of that? Kind of annoying. Ah, uh, get out of my face. Ah, uh, it's glitching. Okay, I'll get rid of my companions because they're kind of annoying. Alright, the Battle of Umbara, we'll go into that. After we get out of the way to exit that place without having to, like, restart the game, you can just come to this blue thing, tap it, and it can travel you wherever you want. Um, this is the Battle of Umbara, the PvP area from the original game. Ah, <sighs> I missed this place. 
nostalgia, you can go around <laughs> searching for stuff. I think it's just a sandbox, but last time, I think it was last night, I tried to just run and I fell somewhere until it respawned me, I think, back here. So I'll just keep running, maybe I'll find a switch, I don't know. Alright, clone, show us what you made of. I hope they add some, um, some Jedi, some lightsabers and stuff like that, because so far it's just clones. And I love clones, but you know, I like Jedi too. Alright, come on. Oh wow, this is scary. Because, like, I don't know what I'm walking into. Can I still see the base? Oh god, where'd the base go? Wait, is that it? Okay, it's still there. I'm not completely dead yet. I feel like I'm gonna fall into some kind of glitch hole and just die. Come on, reach the top of the hill, man. You can do this. It's any original game, you'd have, like, droids everywhere and you're just gonna kill them. And this is a PvP area, so everyone's just kind of shooting each other. I think it's... I think Kamino is also a PvP area, I can't remember. Um, I don't want to run all the way back, so I'll just press T. You pretty much see it on bar. There's a base in there, and a shitload of sandbox. It's just exploring and shit. So we'll press T. Classic lobby. And we will go to Kamino. Okay. So, so far, the only two, like, mini-game modes they've added are combat training, master training, and... Master training is combat training, sorry. And the starfighter mode. Which isn't exactly like the original Starfighter. There's no levels, it's just like flying around shooting. It's just for fun, you know? And this is Kamino. It doesn't look exactly like Kamino. I mean, the ball looks like Kamino in Minecraft. It's not perfect, but it's it. It's Kamino. They're trying. I'm, I'm kind of proud of them because it does bring back some memories of the original game. Because it was one of my favorite Star Wars games. It was the best thing that the TV show produced. You know, the, the film was terrible. A lot of the episodes were screw episodes of television. Rebels doesn't get off. And until we you know, got the Darth Maul stuff, it was all kind I hated it. But then, you know, Darth Maul came along. And this game was really good. This is the best Clone Wars game. Clone Wars Republic Heroes are terrible. I've never played the fight set for the one I don't really want to. So I'm just fine. We're gonna land somewhere. Uh, uh, yeah. This was one of my favorite MMOs, Star Wars. It wasn't a story, there was nothing to do. Just jump on, make a character, kick back, socialize with people, Star Wars fans, explore you know, Jedi, lightsabers, lightsaber tools. Uh, everything in this game was fun. I love it. If you go through my channel, you can still see um, a couple of the lightsaber tools, mini games I did. It's all in the Star Wars. This is even a tribute montage I did right before the game shut down because I knew I was going to miss it and the, the other night I was actually watching it and I said to myself thank god I made this montage so I could go back and really sort of murder it today. <sighs> so there aren't really a lot of Star Wars games. There's a lot of uh, iOS ones so the new ones called Star Wars Uprising it's pretty cool. It does sound fun. It uses a Star Wars film uh, system it's just kind of run around, shoot things. There's more of a story in that one, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't find iOS Star Wars games. I like Star Wars games. Like Rebels, great things. Um, but I had it on the computer, but then stopped with like, I don't buy it. And I don't like playing it on my phone. It's just like Star Wars game on the phone, really. I don't know. It's just not me. And The Old Republic is probably also one of my favorite but, um, MMOs. Yeah, I have Galaxies, I have the Emblem of that, but I don't really play it because it's just kind of like it's old and it's confusing and it's all kind of player reliant. You know, like all of to help you. And I'm just kind of a solo guy who likes to pull it through the world. So, yeah, this is the Star Wars Golden Emulator, this is Fino. I'm trying to think if there's any other maps I haven't showed you. See the canteen on. Wait, did I just press come back to yeah. You can tap on this and it'll just take you back to the main lobby. <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna go into Coruscant one more time, probably something I missed. I can't remember properly. Okay.
that is constantly updates. I will leave a link once again in the description below if you want to go back and download the emulator, try it out for yourself. If you're new to the game, I doubt you're going to enjoy the emulator because it won't really bring back any of the old memories to mind. Like for me, I enjoy it because I played the game and I remember this place. You know, it brings back running through the, the temple and characters everywhere, socializing, emojis and all that. Just, it, was, it was fun. It was a fun game. There was no pressure on story or doing things. It was just it's just fun, you know. The lightsaber jewels were easy. The dark side jewels were easy. Uh, the Starfighter was so fun. It's similar to the space combat we have now on the Old Republic. It's not Galactic Starfighter because that's like a PvP thing. But space combat. I like space combat better. The graphics are more flushed out than the old ones. It is genuinely more fun. But like, I still miss this one. This one had story, this one had heart, and it's all kind of gone now, which is a shame. I'm pretty sure this takes you back to the council chambers. Am I right? Yep, I am. Where I this place. Oh, what else is there? So yeah, I hope they make a Rebels version of this. Maybe not exactly the same, but maybe you can like explore, low fall, expand your base. And you can do that in Rebels Recon missions, but it's, it's an iOS game. It's, it's not very appealing because it's an iOS game. That's pretty much what it is. An iOS game. It's not much to do with it. So there is a Microsoft version on the Microsoft Store or whatever. You can download it. It's not that fun because it doesn't work anymore. It used to work on the Windows 8, but then the Windows 10 update came along and it just completely stopped working back to me. Which is a shame. I had to like uninstall it, reinstall it, and it still didn't work. And I lost all my save profile, which is really sad. Obviously, there's a lot of glitches here, you know, like the walls are retarded and shit, it's to fire weird game. but I'm still proud of the producers, what they've done here. It's really good, and I hope to see the end, final result of the game. Maybe they'll make an online server where everyone, even though there's not a lot of mini games to do, you can just like enjoy, walk around, socialize with people. It's, it's, never, it's not going to be like the Galaxy's emulator. The Galaxy's emulator was so different, and the, um, I don't know, it's, it's not going to be the same. Even the producers have said that this is a semi-emulator and it, it will probably never be like the original Clone Wars Adventure. It's sad, I understand, but that's just the problem. That's, that's how it is. Okay, so there's lots of rooms still in progression. They're still being made, still being designed. There's the room down there that's still being designed. It's all white. I can't really see what you there. Um, I think I've pretty much showed you everything. So this emulator is just like to bring back the old memories of the original game if you miss it. I'm grateful for it because I love the old game and I miss it like crazy. Maybe they'll add a lightsaber jewels. Oh, I do feel that's kind of far-fetched to add a lightsaber duel system since you can barely get it done properly. But like, you know, you keep your hopes up. One day we might get a lightsaber version, a dark side jewel. Maybe one day the entire game will return. Because once Disney took over George Lucas's company, they kind of wanted to shut down any ties they had to Lucas Arts. Um, even uh, Star Wars The Old Republic with the new expansion, it actually says Lucasfilm under it, they've taken out the LucasArt logo. Um, they wrapped up the Clone Wars and they started the Rebels. They Even Battlefront has no prequels in it, like no prequel system whatsoever. And they've said that they only want to focus on the originals, but then they added Battle of Jakku, which is really fucking weird, and their Solace, which isn't from the originals. It, it, you can tell that they just want nothing to do with the prequels. They, you can tell they're embarrassed by it, and they just they want to sever all ties. That's why they shut down Star Wars 1313, which was sad because I was really looking forward to that game. Uh, this game got cancelled as soon as Season 6, The Lost Missions, was released. Ah, oh, man. Disney. But um, they gave us Star Wars Episode 7, 8, and 9. Visceral is working on an RPG soon, which is coming out. I don't know when. Still being designed. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens comes out in June. There's a lot of things to look forward to. Episode 7 was awesome. Rogue One comes out this year. There's a Han Solo film in 2019. 2018 is episode 8. 2020, I guess, is episode 9, which is probably the third year finale. And 2021 is rumored to be a Mandalorian, um, a Mandalorian, you know, part of the anthology series, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that, you know? I've always wanted to see a Mandalorian film. Yeah, I've even once wanted to make a fan film called Star Wars Mandalorian Wars, focused on the Old Republic, Star Wars Wanted Old Republic series, which is pretty cool. I'm happy to see a Mandalorian film. Please don't fuck it up, but don't fuck up the Han Solo film, because if you fuck that up, oh boy. The outlash, the, the backlash, sorry, that, that's... It's gonna be bad. 
So anyway, guys, this is Exquisite Gaming. I yeah, hope you enjoy the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures emulator. If you like this video, you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, comment what you think of the emulator. I'll put the link in the description below. Like I said, you can jump on, enjoy it, and from the Exquisite Gaming team, we will see you guys in the next video. Farewell.